thinking about joining an OCR race, but you only have two or three days a week to work out, watch this. Our next caller is Micah from Alabama. Micah, what's happening? How can we help you? Hey, guys. Stoked to be here. Uh, big fan of your podcast and so looking forward to asking my question. So I'll go ahead and jump right into it. So my church is putting on a men's retreat coming up here in March, and which is awesome. Uh, shout out to Citizens Church in Birmingham, Alabama. But one of the activities that we can that we're going to be doing out there is to run a Spartan race. Now, this is one of the things I've been meaning to do on my bucket list for a long time now, but it also comes at a very tough time for, for me as far as training goes. So to give you a little bit of background, I became a dad for the first time about eight months ago, awesome. which is awesome. Best experience of my life. Congrats. But also it has limited my training. So before I became a dad, I was doing split training with a little bit of cardio sprinkled in. But ever since I've become a dad, I've limited my training to about two to three times a week at this point, doing full body training based mainly on what you guys have told me in the podcast. And I've gotten a lot of good results with that, but I know in order to run the Spartan race, I'm going to need to change things up. Most of the training programs that I've seen have said that you need to do training about four to five times a week, which is not realistic for me at this time. But so I got to basically keep it to two to three times a week. And I'm wondering, and my questions are this, one, is it realistic for me to train for this Spartan race, only training two to three times a week? And secondly, if it is, how should I prioritize endurance training versus strength training in order to prepare for this? Yeah, good question. So uh, you're limited to two or three days a week, right? That's what we're working with. And uh, now, is it realistic? Is it realistic to train for this race that way? Yeah, it's realistic. I don't know if it's going to make you the best version of yourself, but can you do it in three days a week? You definitely can. The way that I would organize it is one day a week would be traditional strength training with maybe some mobility. The other two days a week would be very obstacle course racing specific where you're practicing the events and the runs and the you know, the rings and the, all the, all the movements and, and activities you'll be doing in the race. I would do that, that, that the other two days a week. And I think with the three day kind of limitation that we have, that would probably be the best way that I would organize a workout. Yeah. I actually think that, um, you could totally do this. Uh, so a 10 K Spartan race is, is a little over six miles, right? So, you know, if you, if you build enough endurance to get through six miles and then incorporate some of the things like grip strength and pull-ups and things, carrying things, which obstacle course racing has got in there, we have a MAPS OCR program. So I'll have Doug send that over to you. Uh, it is a little more than just two days a week. So you can, but what you can do is take- you Pull from it. Yeah, pull mm -hmm. two of those days out of there. And then what I would do is every, uh, every day before I start my routine, I would run one mile. And then uh, try to on the weekends or once a week go get uh, one one of those weekends. I try and get a two mile run in, which we're ho hopefully this doesn't take, but you know, fifteen twenty minutes of your time. Uh, another day or another day or another week, I should say, I would do a three mile, and then at the end of the month, I would try and do a six mile run. And combining that uh, with the two days a week of like a full body strength routine that incorporates the pull ups and carries and things like that, I think you could actually do pretty damn well at the Spartan race. Yeah, what's nice about the OCR one, that program that we came up with too, it also has mobility sessions in there to kind of complement a lot of these uh, grip intensive type of um, events and, and obstacles that are in front of you. So there's also a way to kind of scale that in terms of grip strength so you can perform well while doing these and building up your endurance. So just to, like they said, just kind of pull and extract uh, some of these workouts from the program. And I think you can, you can strategically uh, get a lot out of that just with three days a week. On the days that do endurance, do you believe that since I get off very late on some nights, do you think it would be realistic to do it on a treadmill or an elliptical versus running outside every time? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you have yeah. to, you're better. You're, look, the, the closer you can get to what the race is going to be like, the better. But if you can't do that, then you can try simulating it on a piece of equipment. You a totally and a that. treadmill would be better than elliptical in this case. It's yeah. going to simulate running, obviously, better than elliptical. But yeah, no, I absolutely. The big thing is going to be your gas tank. That's what you're told. In fact, I think yeah. in, in MAPS OCR, I mean, we wrote that program a while ago, but I think 
we have treadmill specific yeah. workouts mm-hmm. in there. So we in there there's tests there. in there too that you kind of work up to. So I would probably you know look into that for like uh, you know once a month uh, you kind of test it out and see mm-hmm. where where you stand in terms of your time and everything. So that way you have some kind of a gauge as far as how your programming is is paying off. We just talked to somebody similar. Like to, you'd be amazed by how how much you can improve your cardiovascular endurance just yeah. by simply running a mile or two every time you go to work out. And that really shouldn't take up a lot of your time to do that. And, you know, week over week, you'll you'll quickly see yourself start to improve on that time. Um, and then you only need to, you know, once or twice a month, do something that's even close to comparable as far as the distance. So yeah. saying, you know, four to six miles once or twice a month. Uh, so like one of those days you, you take off for, you know, 20 minutes and, and do a run. You do that consistently uh, leading up to the competition. You're, and then if you're also incorporating exercises that are going to challenge grip and pull up strength and carrying, which is in OCR, uh, you, you're going to do fine, man. You'll yeah. do great. Yeah, we'll send over Maps OCR for you so you can you have some stuff to pull from. Okay, Micah? All right. Excellent. Thank nope. you, guys. No problem. Congratulations on being a new dad. Out. One, you helped me so much in my personal life because I'm starting to listen to your podcast about this. Close to the time I became a dad, and you guys really taught me how to balance out fitness alone with being a dad at the same time. And secondly, you also guys also helped me out in my career. I'm a physical therapy assistant here at the VA, and a lot of the things you taught me, I'm able to apply as both as a physical therapist and a health coach here. So I want to say thank you guys for everything that you do. Oh, thank you, Mike. I appreciate really that. appreciate that. Boy, these uh, these obstacle course course races are so popular now. They're just they're doing them. Everywhere. Yeah. yeah well, they're yeah. fun, I guess. So. Yeah. Getting outside, getting dirty, like getting after. I think it just has its own appeal in terms of like doing something completely outside your comfort zone. Yeah. And so, yeah. I, I also think that, yes, if you're advanced, you're probably going to be training five days a week or so, but most people can make tremendous progress with a few days a week. Like at some point, you may reach the point where you need to add an extra day, but I think people, they they you know they overestimate that. Oh, I need to add an extra day. It's like there's a lot you could do with these three oh, yeah, days a week before you add more time. There's this misconception of you know more means you're going to get more results. It does. You could you can get plenty of progress, especially what I'm talking about. A 10k is only six miles. Mm-hmm. So to get somebody good at, at running for six miles, yeah. it, it doesn't take as that much time and effort towards that. I mean, you can you can, and you don't also have to do it every time. He doesn't do. He doesn't go out and run six miles every day to get good at running six miles. He can break it up and one mile, two mile, three mile type of increments and improve that every week. Totally. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.